You're watching the Common Constitutionalist Weekend Video Podcast. Ho, ho, ho. So, hey there. This is Brent Smith, and I'm the Common Constitutionalist. And welcome to another edition of the Common Constitutionalist Weekend Video Podcast. And uh, I'm trying to be festivus today. Uh, I'm not a happy man. Many constitutional conservatives aren't happy men and women. Uh, that's just the way it goes, I reckon, unfortunately. And um, so behind me I just set up my Christmas tree, my family's Christmas tree, whatever, and uh, cut it down, uh, went out to the woods, as you, yeah, I've explained before, went out there, cut the thing down, dragged it home, set it up uh, this morning, and it looks awesome. Smells like a pine tree, because it is a pine tree. Smells fresh, because it is fresh. Smells like the outdoors and wild, because it is. It ain't store-bought, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I've got, that's how many notes I've got. I'm just going to be speaking extemporaneously, off the, off the cuff, whatever. Um... Like I said, the common constitutionalist is not a happy man right about now. So what I'll be discussing today, and I think I'll just be keeping it short, because if I don't, I'm going to go off and I'll probably get yanked, whatever, maybe anyway. Two topics. First is I'm just going to touch on our spineless supremes, and the second is the Fourth Reich. Yep, there you go, I said it, probably get yanked right there. So that's what I'll be discussing today on the Weekend Common Constitutionalist uh, video podcast. Again, don't forget to share, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. Um, we constitutional conservatives, we conservatives, we on the right, going forward, if we don't band together, you know, uh, it, it ain't going to be pretty. It may not be pretty anyway. But uh, I'll be right back. I'm back. I am going to do my level best to keep my cool about these two topics. Um, the Supreme Court, they ruled that, uh, was it this morning or late yesterday? I can't remember, but it might have been this morning. They ruled pretty much, they, it, was, it was explained originally that it was nine to zip, and it's actually it was seven to two that they weren't going to take up any portion of the Texas case, anything that had to do with Pennsylvania or the other four states, they were just going to dismiss the Texas lawsuit and it would be a moot point the way they described it. The fact is, is that Alito and Thomas wanted to take up this case, uh, at least part of it, and the other justices, including all three of Trump's nominees, Trump's appointees, Kavanaugh, Gorsuch, and even Barrett now decided that no, this wasn't worth while. This wasn't worth the Supreme Court's time. Our national election, states against states, it says right in the Constitution that's the purpose of the Supreme Court, one of the few purposes of the United States Supreme Court. No, nothing to see here. Move on. There is no, there's nowhere else you can go legally as far as redress now. Okay? We've been wronged by governments. The Pennsylvania, it's already been proven. If nothing, the, the thing about this thing is the, I guess, the court said that, uh, or some on the court, said that their Texas has no standing. Of course they have. Every state has a standing. Every state has a stake in this election. But that's beside the point. 
the fact is is that Pennsylvania, just the state of Pennsylvania, they 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 the 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 legislature a while ago, I guess, the the governor, the attorney general, and even the state supreme court changed election law, changed the way they ran elections, which is spelled out very clearly in the Pennsylvania state constitution, which it has to be treated like the United States Constitution. It is the supreme law of that state, of that land. Just that alone should trigger a Supreme Court hearing because the state Supreme Court violated the Constitution, the governor violated the Constitution, the legislature violated the Constitution, and any other officials, attorney generals or whatnot of the state of Pennsylvania also violated the state constitution where therefore violated the federal constitution. If you have states that can violate their own constitutions, their Supreme Court says it's an okay, move along, nothing to see here, and then the Supreme Court denies taking up the case for whatever reason, we're done. We're finished because the, again, there is nowhere that the state attack. There is nowhere that any of the, any of these other states that have been wronged because of the fraud of this election, and the fraud, if nothing else, the fraud was changing the election rules without amending the Constitution. Look it up in the Pennsylvania Constitution. It's as clear as day that you need constitutional amendments to change election law. You can't do it. The legislature can't do it. The, uh, the governor can't do it, the AG can't do it, nobody, the Supreme Court can't do it in the, in the state of Pennsylvania. It has to be, it has to be a con state constitutional amendment to change election law. Everything that they did was illegal, was unconstitutional and anti-constitutional, and that didn't trigger a hearing on the U.S. Supreme Court. But Texas has no standing. The fact is, is that Texas and all these other states that feel they've been wronged by a fraudulent election, which they have, and our Supreme Court, seven to two, seven to two, denied access to the Supreme Court for redress. Where do you go from here? The Galactic Council? What do you do? I don't know. But it, uh, it, it, things, are, things are looking rather dire at this point. Not for the Republicans. I don't care about the Republicans and the Democrats. The, our nation is in dire straits right now, and I frankly don't know the way forward at this point. Colonel Allen West uh, is the, what is he? He works for the state of Texas. I can't remember what his position is. He suggested states constitutional states secede from the Union and, uh, and form their own United States or states united within to live by the Constitution and the hell with the rest of them. Obviously that's not going to happen because the only state that can legally secede on its own without any permission from anyone is Texas. Uh, you may not have known that, but yes, Texas can secede, is the only state in the Union that is allowed to secede without any permission from the rest of the United States. All other states have to get permission or have to be signed off from the other states and the government, whatever, to say, yes, it's okay, you can leave the United States if you, if you so choose. Texas then can do that, okay, because they were an independent, well, it doesn't make any difference. Just know that they can do that. And again, if you don't trust me, look it up, whatever. So again, I don't know where we go with seven out of nine spineless Supreme Court justices that simply, I don't know what they were thinking other than they're scared of the repercussions. Of course, they're human, but they're up there to do a job. You're a Supreme Court justice. It's the most, one of the most important jobs on the planet, and if you can't fulfill your responsibilities, you need to be impeached. You need to voluntarily step down because you don't have the, the, you don't have the stones to do the job properly.
because these things were clearly unconstitutional, anti-constitutional, and you guys won't take up the case, where do you go from here? I don't know. Maybe Alan West is right. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the deal is. So that's all I've got to say. Actually, I've got a hell of a lot more to say on that topic, but maybe I'll either leave it for another day or just leave it for now to see how things are going to shake out, as it were. You're watching the Common Constitutionalist Video Podcast. Yeah, baby! <laughs>
pre-Hitler, okay? That's how Hitler came to power, all right? So these people were broker than crap. They couldn't afford doodling. I was going to say something else. Doodly. We'll do fine. We'll do fine. Began with a D. No, good. All right. And so Goebbels came up with this way to produce these really, really cheap radios. No doubt they were sponsored and, uh, and um, uh, paid for, at least in part, developed by government money. And they were, they were given away or, or sold at really, really inexpensive prices. And so all the general populace could have a radio. And since there wasn't anything else to do, you sat around and listened to the radio. And since there weren't many channels, all of them were propaganda. And that's how Goebbels got out his message of Nazism. And that's how, that's how people got brainwashed. That's how the Hitler Youth started. That's how all this kind of stuff started. What the hell does this have to do with anything, okay? What this has to do with is the Volksempfanger has now been replaced with the phone, the laptop, the computer, the desktop, whatever, okay? That's the new Volksempfanger. The ministers of propaganda are the are the are the Googles, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the Instagram, well, they're all the same, basically, the YouTubes and whatnot. They're the gatekeepers, just like Goebbels was the gatekeeper. If you wanted to listen to radio, you were going to listen to what they wanted you to listen to. You didn't have a choice because there wasn't anywhere to go. Now you have a choice. You can go to conservative sites within... For, for some whatever reason, uh, you can still find conservatives on YouTube that, that, yes, they may have been demonetized, but they're still up there. You can find The Blaze, and you can find The Daily Wire, and you can find Crowder, and you can find Levin, and you can find all these guys, um, PragerU, and whatever. And they're up there. They may be demonetized, but they're still at least allowing them to be shown. So you at least have more choice than the Volksenbanker. But we've come a long way baby, haven't we? The problem is, is that what's going to happen going forward? Now that Texas is, has, this Texas case has been dismissed, things are looking rather dire for the Trump administration to repeat. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. The, it, the fat lady hasn't sung yet, but she's warming up, okay? <clears throat> so that's the problem. Once Biden and Harris are in, the masks are going to come off, so to speak, okay? Um, the gloves are going to come off, and the, the internet moguls will literally be around, allowed to censor anything they like. And you're going to have no cause for redress. Where are you going to go at this point? Because it seems that the left owns most of the lower courts, there are still some reasonable courts, but the left owns a lot of the, well, the left is going to own the, own the administration. They're, they own a little less of, but they still own the House of Representatives and the Senate. We don't know yet. But as far as the courts are concerned, now that we know that, the, that we have seven reasonably spineless Supreme Court justices, where do we conservatives eventually go if we are wronged, if we are taken down, if we are erased from the internet, so to speak? Where do we go for redress? Where do we go to get back on air? The Volkschenfonger, like I said, Goebbels basically ran that thing. He told the, P the powers that be transmitting radio, this is what you put on, and this is what you can, period. If the people want to turn the channel, they're going to be two or three channels. They're all going to be the same basic thing. It's all going to be about the Third Reich and how wonderful they are. That's what's going to happen here, I fear, because it's already ramping up. These guys, these arrogant guys like the Twitter CEO, uh, Zuckerberg at Facebook, the Google people, they already don't care. You can see that. 
that they just don't care. They're going to do what they want to do, and they maybe they'll say yes, sir, to a few things that the senators have to say or whatever. But other than that, they're going to just do whatever the hell they want to do. Now that they've got the green light, almost, all bets are off and we don't know where we're going to go. So, like I said, I'm not a happy common constitutionalist right now because I fear for our nation. And, I, and this isn't hyperbole, people. This is not hyperbole. This isn't just bloviating, and it isn't certainly isn't clickbait, because I obviously don't care enough about that, because I don't get enough views. So I don't market myself for crap. Oh yeah, like, subscribe. You know. So anyway, um, that's all I've got. Uh, these are the, the, We're heading into some scary times here, folks. And now that we see the makeup of the court, Supreme Court, it's going to be scarier still. Um, I feel... I feel proud and I feel so sorry for Clarence Thomas and Samuel Olito that they have to put up with the nonsense of these other seven. We'll see if the uh, if, if Barrett resumes herself, Kavanaugh and Gorsuch. I didn't trust them out, right out of the gate. Just like A.G. Barr. I never trusted him from word freaking go. Everybody thought he was a god. I guess that's all I've got. Um, if I drank heavily, I would go drown my sorrow. But since I don't, I don't know. I'll just have an iced tea and some ice cream. I don't know. Whatever. That's all I got. Again, don't forget to do all that stuff. We're, it, it's going to get increasingly important for people to like each other on, you know, things. To subscribe and to do this other stuff and find other means other than watching things on YouTube and whatever. Because more and more and more they're going to just not, not start to be more demonetized, but just delete it. You just won't be able to find it. Okay. That's all I got. Brent Smith, common constitutionalist. Ho, ho, freaking ho. Love y'all. See you.